IPOB members are not terrorists. I live with them. I see them. I pass when they are even holding meeting or gathering and they do not pose any danger to me. This is the position of P2B. You know, in this period of political campaign, whatever you say can be used against you. So those who are opposed to P2B went into the archives and they met this press conference, this um, press interview. He granted to channels television many years ago and they now uh, dug it up and say ha ah, we have found the evidence to nail him this one will make him lose the presidency it looks like he's um uh, growing wings let's cut him down to size because as far as we know he supports ipob he lives with them he meets with them he interacts with them. He even drinks with them. <laughs> and the opposition, they are very happy, like someone on high. And happened on this thing that happened some years ago. You know, they said internet or social media or whatever. It doesn't lie. It keeps these evidences. But how true is that? What does this statement mean? What is the implication on P2B? We are going to give you analysis of this information that is now trending. Before then, we give you just a gentle reminder to please like this video, share it among your contacts and friends, and subscribe to our channel, especially if you are coming across us for the very first time. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, P2B, has dismissed claims that the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB is a terrorist group. Obi made this assertion while in an interview with Channels Television. He stated that IPOB members live around him and do not constitute a threat to the country. He said the only thing I disagree with is naming IPOB terrorists. They are not terrorists. Those who took the decision may have information that I don't have. This is very important. Those that took the decision may have information that he will be does not have. But from what he will be, no. And the information he has, these people are not terrorists. He said also that um, I stay in Onisha and I can tell you that there are people. I pass them on the road every day. I meet and live with them. In fact, I usually see people gathering and I have never had the sense of threat or molestation for them. Even when they gather, he said. Ubi then maintain that IPOB members are not terrorists. Recall that um, the Nigerian government has proscribed IPOB following the secessionist agitation for the actualization of Biafra. Um, let's look at this uh, statement of uh, Ubi from two sides. And um, you will feel pity for P2B for even coming out to contest for Nigerian presidency. Because on one hand, this uh, is the opposition accusing him to be a member of IPOB, supporting IPOB, promoting IPOB, saying that they are not even a terrorist organization. In fact, that OB is the brain behind the IPOB, that he is the silent financier of the IPOB. People like Reno or Mokri. The so-called table shaker who takes it as his full-time job to attack Obi, the obedience and everything. He jumped on this bandwagon and is trying to shake the table. 
On the other hand, this OB is at the same time being accused by IPOB members. They said you OB killed many of our members and dumped them in Ezu River during your regime as the governor of Anambra State. So OB is in the middle of the deep blue ocean. Any direction he goes is a problem and the attack is coming from two fronts. So the question is, is he really supporting IPOB, a member of IPOB, tolerating IPOB, saying everything about IPOB, financing IPOB? And then the IPOB people are attacking him. Say they don't have anything to do with him. They don't want to hear his name, that he killed their members and the rest of it. This is the question. Where does OB stand? Where do you place him now after listening to this? And by the way, he said that they are not a terrorist organization. And this is largely or what the whole world agrees on. The whole international community agrees that IPOB are not terrorists. It is only the Nigerian government that says so. And terrorism is a global phenomenon. Once you have a terrorist organization named in any place, every country falls in line. In fact, uh, branding an organization terrorists actually comes from mostly from the international community, pressurizing the country where these people operate to name them terrorists or even international community taking the first step to name them terrorists themselves. But in this case, is a reverse. Nigerian government named IPOB terrorists, and the world said, no, we don't see them as terrorists. They are just people fighting for independent state. And the method they are used so far do not qualify them as terrorists. So this is uh, what is going on at the moment. If you're a politician, every dirty linen concerning you, your opponents will dig it up and wash it out there in the public. What is your opinion? Do you think that P2B is supporting IPOB that is financing them? Do you think he's right to say that IPOB is not a terrorist organization? If he supported IPOB lately, since he started the move to become a president this year, he hasn't said anything regarding to whether they are terrorists or not. What he kept saying is that if he becomes the president, he will negotiate with every group, including IPOB, and that is where he stands. So, go to the comment section and tell us your opinion about this new boohaha. Then again, like this video, share it, and subscribe to our channel. And we will see you in our next update. Remain blessed.